Now joined by Paul Doan, a sports commentator and the CEO of EI Asia. Paul, great to have you on our program. Uh, you know, what do you think is the current preparation work for the Winter Olympics? Because we've had much attention fixed on the, on the Tokyo Games, which are six months away. Many don't realize that China has a daunting task as well, preparing for the Winter Olympics that are due to take place in just a year. Uh, yes, Jung Shi, uh, thank you for having me. And yes, the entire world is pretty much focused on uh, the daily development regarding the preparation and whether or not the Tokyo Olympics will go ahead as scheduled, which is already postponed. But this week, uh, because the International Olympic Committee will use some resources to spend some time touting the Beijing Winter Olympics, which is exactly one year away from now. And now, for both Tokyo and Beijing, I think the IOC is sending a very strong message that uh, the International Olympic family is pretty much prepared to go ahead, uh, no matter how challenging they will be. Uh, but, you know, the, a playbook has just been published targeting specific groups of uh, participants, so participants or stakeholders of the Olympics for Tokyo now this week. And then more such playbooks as guidebooks for different groups divided based on their nature of uh, participation uh, are being released. And then uh, the targeted groups will follow the guidelines, which are, which would be updated uh, weekly and then monthly. So I think Beijing will be following that very closely while working on its own preparations. Mm. Uh, so far, because uh, just what's, go what's going on now, some IOC technical officials are in Beijing inspecting ice conditions, other facilities, and the positive note is Beijing amazingly have finished the construction of all the major facilities, mm. venues, uh, the stadiums, and also slopes, and almost everything technical and, uh, and hardware. Mm. And now the challenge for the hosting city is how we can organize some real events taking place inside or on the outdoor facilities of the uh, Olympic caliber because it should be testing events. We're testing events season now, but unfortunately, all the major test events have been put on hold or canceled or moved to other countries due to concerns about the recent a spike of some, uh, you know, on some cases in surrounding areas. Mm. But now the latest news is a very major event, test event, will take place, will go ahead in February, which is just two weeks away, away from now. The alpine skiing, we all know how important alpine skiing in the entire Olympic, Winter Olympics, and some male right. athletes, men's uh, Super G and, uh, and also downhill will take place in, in uh, uh, Yanqing, suburban Beijing. And that will be a huge, exciting event, also a test and challenge for local organizers. And Paul, my apologies. We're short on time here. We'll have to leave you there. But thank you so much for taking the opportunity to talk to us. Paul Dong, thank, Dawn, you, thank you.